Hey everyone, Round the Wheel here, and we're back to Sega Densetsu 3, and it's daytime, but we're in a town, so that doesn't really matter. We're going to make our first important visit right now, not to this mauve-haired little moppet right here, but to this house that he's pointing out. Uh-oh, I'm not looking out anyone's back door. No, thank you, but this is Bon Voyage. He's going to prove helpful to our travel arrangements throughout the first part of the game. Oh, well, that sounds like a good plan. And who are you, lovely blue, electric blue lady? Bonsoir. Ho <laughs> ho No faith. Well, oh ye of little faith. Maybe you should, uh, maybe you should be a little more appreciative of this big old cannon he's got built back here. This should be a familiar device to anyone who's played a mana game, this is going to be our cannon travel, but it's not as simple as just paying for a ride, as we will find out. And that bridge is... That bridge seems like the easy way, but nothing is ever easy in this game. And it's almost complete, except for the catalyst that gets it all fired up. Well, uh... Are you going to, uh... Okay, so he's just stuck in a loop of... Yes, it is. It's the Super Cannon Mark II. Thank you. And it's almost complete, but for one thing. Maybe we should talk to the lady? Maybe she knows what's up with it? I know she doesn't believe in him very much. Nope. Well, the thing that we need to get it started is gunpowder. We're going to have to go retrieve some gunpowder... But there's a bridge first, so we might as well try the bridge, even though we can be pretty sure that something is going to put a hitch in that particular plan. Let's see if we've got... How much money? Oh, we've got a fair amount of money at this point. We can probably buy better stuff. No, we've got nothing, and the staff is normal, so... No, no better weapons at this point. Yeah, that's a little bit surprising. Any better... This is just items and stuff. Yeah, we'll stock up on the goodies. We'll get back up to nine on both counts, so, uh... Not much money being spent so far. That's excellent. And before we hit the road, we're going to go take a nap. So that it will be... Well, is there anything new over here? Always got to check out the goods before you go to a new place. Can we boost our defense any? It's looking like we can. We can actually get some... Uh, we can actually get some other pieces of armor that will boost us. So we're going to go ahead and uh, buy these things. Uh, the bandanas for me, it looks like. Uh, leather belt, that's what I'm wearing right now, I do believe. Let's give, let's give, I was going to say Lisa, let's give April a winged ribbon so that hopefully she can fly, not quite, it's kind of that tiger bikini level of disappointing, you know, and then let's get a circlet for the other lovely lady, Mrs. Brian, and then we will equip all that stuff, and we will make it nighttime, and then we will hit the road and beat up some baddies on the way to the mines near Bizel. I feel a little bit ripped off. This is supposed to be free city, Maya. I had to pay for my armor and for that instay. Oh, did you now? Well, maybe he shouldn't have made it so strong, but I guess he had to. All right, well, uh, thanks for telling us that and then going over to look at that pretty brick wall. That was quite a weird little timed event type thing there. Oh, and at night, of course, zombies. So somebody's probably going to get poisoned at some point. Let's just run along, and hopefully we won't run into anything too terrible like uh, Porons at this point. Assassin Bugs, yeah, they can poison, but they're not terrible either. This is a pretty, this is a pretty good foreboding of things to come if... Okay, let me... Okay, yeah, I was trying to do that, but sometimes I forget the A is my actual attack button, so... Yeah, let's just beat up zombies and stuff, and I'm not too worried about losing health right now. Oh, hey, treasure chest over, by the way. It's always important to stick around and look for a treasure chest. Oh, I'm so sorry, everybody. That that smoke is my fault. it. Man, that took a long time and took off a lot of hit points. I really gotta stop opening treasure chest. Well, I'm kind of surprised that Poron didn't immediately start with a dart, and somehow I ended up off in the corner. That was a bizarre development, but we are on our way. We're on the golden road. This is from Bi or this takes us from Maya to Bizel. We can't actually go to Bizel yet, 
Bizel is kind of a funny name, actually. It's the market. Ah, yes. There we go. We're going to go ahead and put up her intelligence so that hopefully she'll learn uh, Holy Ball right off the bat, us having Wisp with us and everything. And yes, she has learned Holy Ball. That's going to come in very handy for the next boss fight, which is actually a while from now. This game makes you do a little bit of a uh, little bit of insane back and forth in this part here. So, uh, yes, poison. That that was kind of a foregone conclusion considering the enemies we got laying around here. Bats are easy to beat up. Bats ain't even a thing. It's zombies that I'm worried about. The zombies that I am so over. Zombies, 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 zombies. Zombies are fucking everywhere these days. It's actually kind of annoying. Oh, yes, I'm sure I did get poison. Oh, it wasn't me that time. How about that? All right, well, we are doing pretty... Okay, I need to really stop this, but I can never... Well, I got lucky that time, but I can never resist a treasure chest, and that's going to probably be responsible for at least 10% of the butt-kicking that happens to us. Oh my god, you guys are getting hit by Batums. That's horrible. Let's go ahead and boost our strength. I'm all for strength boosting. Although I need to start looking into stats for class changing, not to uh, get too far ahead of myself, but class changing is an important thing that we're going to get into later once we get higher level, and that's going to determine what classes we choose will determine what kind of spells and stat boosts we get and everything. So... We're going to be thinking about that soon, but first, it's on our way to Forcina, and unfortunately, we can only save right here. We're not actually going to get healed by this statue, because it's a silver one, and that's an unfortunate development, of course. But, let's go ahead and give everybody a quick heal, because this is a pretty nasty battle coming up. Going to go ahead and uh, pass the candy around. Everybody take a piece. Take a Snickers, take a Reese's, take a Butterfinger, take whatever you need. But we are going to get ourselves healthy. We even have one pack of chocolate if it comes down to that. But we don't really have enough. We don't really have enough hit points to justify using that just yet. So I'm going to go ahead, and this is a good time also to show off the storage system. We should have quite a bit of round drop in storage by now. So you just to get to your storage menu, you push the start button. And uh, we have five round drops in storage. That's perfect. So we're going to go to one of these nothing slots. And we're going to bring our round drops over. It won't put the round drop in the nothing slot. It'll actually add it to the round drops we have. So now we have nine round drops. And we brought three out of storage, giving us now two in storage. And you can't take things out of storage during battle. But this could very well be a battle that kicks our ass. So uh, it, it's kind of the first intense boss battle that you get to fight in. Oh, I love that view and those colors. It's just so... Oh, the view. I love it. But here is the bridge to Forcina, and I'm sure nothing is going to happen except for the boss fight that I just mentioned. Oh, so this is all your fault, Bree Bree. <laughs> yeah, just break down and cry. That's how we solve problems. The heroes of the world, that's how we solve our problems. Mm, I like your moxie, honey. Yes, machine golems. These will turn out to be just standard enemies later, but right now they are pretty well and truly capable of kicking our asses, and there are two of them, so we need to stay out of the way of their bigger attacks. Unless, of course, you know, they just launch right into them. Good freaking night. Oh, yeah, we're barely getting a chance to even get off some hits, so... This is not, this is already not a good development, I can see. This is, this is a battle that will pretty well and truly kick your butt. So, they do have some standard attacks that, yeah, I like, see, I should probably stay out of the way of those tiny little fists. But they also have rockets that they can launch that will hurt pretty badly. Like that. I should have probably gotten out of the way of that thing. So, candy for me. Yeah, I'm num 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 num. Delicioso. All right. Yeah, sure, come at me. You, I am not the guy that you mofos want to mess with. So let's just go ahead and uh, use all the special attacks we can because they are going to hit hard. And I, boy, they really, am I? Okay, why did I switch to her? That's pretty strange, but good God. I'm going to go ahead and use that chocolate. I said that probably wasn't going to be a thing we had to worry about, but sure enough it is. Good Lord. And we don't really have the armor to keep up with this fight yet. Sometimes, this is like the spiky tiger fight of this game. 
it's kind of hard to keep up sometimes, you know, armor-wise. You know, everybody, like, look at her getting her butt kicked right there. This is... Okay, that went really better than it sort of had any right to. Because you're really low on defense at this point. So it's just kind of a battle of attrition, really, that you hope to win through items. I'm pretty lucky I didn't have to bust out my... Pretty lucky that I didn't have to bust out my Angel Grail there. Yes, my facial expression sure is meriting that Interrobang right there. And then they all died. The end. <laughs> well, we all managed to uh, walk off the bridge just in time. That's great. Yeah, you should be sorry. Now we can't get to Fursina. So how are we going to get there? It must involve that cannon that we were looking at trying to get an event to happen for. How can we get to him now? Indeed, we must figure it out and think about it. So let's go back to Free City Maya and figure out how to get over to Forcina now. Because how the hell are we ever going to do that now that the bridge is out? I've already spoiled a fair chunk of it, but let's just play it out, why don't we? Alright, we're back at Maya and we're healed up, so let's go see about that cannon now that our bridge has been taken away from us. Your hair turned brown at night, little kid. What's up with that? Oh, so you made upgrades to the cannon. Hyper recycling? Yeah, okay, we'll go out back again. We're just going to ignore you because apparently you're a brother hater. And blood should be thicker than water. You should support your brother, Bonsoir. All right, let's get in and let's take a ride. Except no. Gunpowder. He forgot about the gunpowder because he's a scatterbrained little fart knocker. Yeah, I guess we'll go get that. So, yeah, that's the whole running back and forth part of this quest. So, it is actually back to the caves with us. Back to the very same cave we just came from. So, back in another GIF. And we actually can't activate... I almost forgot about this. We actually can't activate the quest for the gunpowder until we talk to somebody who knows about it, which I think is this guy. Except it's a matter of getting into their caves, so there is an illusion that keeps us from getting in there. It's just a myth, so now that we've talked to him, we can actually do what we're supposed to do if little Miss Skanky Skank will get out of the way anyway. Okay, now let's go do some zombie fighting, I guess, and we'll be back at the Cleft of the Earth. I keep forgetting what that place was called, even though people have said it like a billion times. Yes, I'm poisoned. That's not exactly news to me, so... All right. And Assassin Bugs, where are you coming from, Assassin Bugs? The more enemies that come from out of nowhere, the more health points I lose. I've already lost 27 hit points, and I'm the freaking beast man, for God's sake. Good lord. Alright, here we are back at Cleft of the Earth, and this is a pretty normal, unspecial cave, but you gotta talk to the guy to uh, make this anything more than what it is. And then you have to talk to the save statue, at which point it will become more than just a save statue. We're going to get Wisp to do this particular job, because he is perfectly suited to this occasion. Enough science talk, Wispy. Just show me the magic. Ooh, somebody paid attention in geometry. Look at that! We have a way in now, and I think we need to save, because it's not just a nice little hop and a skip to the dwarf village. I think we actually have to fight some monsters first, so might as well save before we start in on that. Cleft of the Earth, perfect place to save. I've got a pretty mighty cleft myself. I wouldn't call it the Cleft of the Earth. I don't have a cleft, actually. I was thinking of a butt crack for some reason. And yes, that was a very conspicuous door, and the dwarf village is just over the way here. Can't go this way yet, but we'll be going that way later. Not today, but later. Here we are at the Dwarf Village. This is a good place to rest and get... <laughs> yeah, not much you can do about it if you saw the trick. Alright, that sounds good. We're going to explore lots of these places too. Make sure everybody's got what we're going for. Ah, whatever. We'll be fine. You're not going to, like, hit a big gunpowder vein or anything. Don't worry about that. And an inn so that we can stay and get sleepy and rest up, which we're definitely going to need for the things ahead. 
Aha, Gnome. He was second in Secret Amada, and he's second here. We will be uh, we'll be looking for him as well. He's going to he's going to give us some pretty handy spellage. And I like how they indicate. <laughs> Did you now? That's not something I would have admitted to a trio of strangers exactly. I like how they indicate weapon shops and armor shops around here. Of course, they got the plain old normal sign for items and such, but I do believe this is probably the first place where we could actually get some new and interesting goodies. So, yay for us. We're going to be spending some big time money. A fur vest for me. Very silky. A feather vest. That's going to go to probably, yeah, her wings are her whole motif it's appearing to look like. And a witch's robe for the other lovely lady. Robes and vests all around. This sounds like a delicious time. So let's go across now to get new weapons so that we can take on the new dangers next time. In the... not the dwarf cave exactly, but just the cleft of the earth. This general place that we're in. A needle glove. That sounds handy. A flamea? Who gets the flamea? Man, you have cool weapon names. Little Miss April. And a witch staff. You're going, I guess you're going full witchy, witchy swass on us, aren't you? Alright, time to, uh, well, that seems like a good place to stop. We also have to pick up some, uh, some other goody goodies. Let's see, let's go in here. They've got the normal, I don't think they have anything other than the normal candy. Mmm, we are always looking for strange things. Strange things are afoot at the Circle K. Yeah, get behind the counter and do your job, slacker. All right, let's go ahead and let's buy up the candies because we're going to be needing them. Haven't used any of our poison thingies. We own one. We might get a few of those just in case. Let's get us up to five, and that is going to do it for us today. We've bought everything we need. So after a bit of equipment and a bit of sleep, we're going to get a move on and explore further into the cleft of the earth. See you guys next time.